What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy, we're back with another video. And today, 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 we're gonna be discussing and breaking down, is Kevin Stefanski on a hot seat? Um, so, uh, today's May, what, 11th, 2023. So this is kind of like way too early, but just going based off what has happened in the off season, what happened and transpired last year, and then the off season before that, we're gonna discuss if Kevin Stefanski's on a hot seat. So, Let's take a look at in the grand scheme of things and how the Browns are moving. Within the last two years, uh, we've made a lot of trades. We've made a lot of aggressive moves. And we're really trying to attack this Super Bowl window. So, in that scenario, it leads me to the expectation that the Browns believe that they're in a championship window and, and they need to make a run here. Uh, quite frankly, they are. If you look at how the contracts are set up, this is set up as a like a win now mode. We don't got a lot of young guys on deals. We got a lot of guys on extensions. Excuse me. We got a lot of guys on extensions. Um, and Andrew Barry, the way he's moving, he's not looking to build a roster off of rookies. We don't even have picks to do that. So, uh, yeah, looking at it, man. Mm -hmm. This is a this is like I said in prior videos, this is by far the biggest uh season that we got coming up in the last twenty five years. So a lot of pressure will be on everybody. It's gonna be pressure on the defense, it's gonna be pressure on Miles, it's gonna be pressure on Watson. And a lot of the pressure and expectation is gonna be on Kevin Stefanski. Uh just because he has all the pieces. He has a wide receiving core. He has a quarterback. He has a running back. He has tight ends. He has an O-line. All Everything is there. You know, we could be like, you know, a little bit better at receiver. But we we're, we do have depth. You know, we don't have a superstar, but we have depth, you know. Uh, and Amari Cooper is capable of being a top-tier wide receiver. So we have all the pieces. We got a number one receiver. We got a number two. We got a three. We got a big body guy. We got a speed guy. We got a tight end. We got a, um, a offensive line with backup. We don't got a backup running back, but we got Jerome Ford. We got Nick Chubb. Got the best back in football. A legend top 10 quarterback. So a lot of like a lot of it is going to be on Stefanski. Um, because you know, we fired Joe Woods, Mike Prefer. Brought in Bubba, brought in Jim Schwartz. So they didn't think the part, the fault of last season was on Stefanski. So uh, it really depends on what he get fired, depends on how this season looks. Um, like for example, say we start off six and two, and then we lose the next eight games, he's gonna get fired. Or if we start off seven and two, eight and one, you know what I'm saying? And then we end up only winning 10 games and we lose a lot of games down the stretch. Or uh, we a game out of the playoff, I think he gets fired. Um, yeah, I think he gets fired if we're out the playoffs. I think the minimum win total that he has to get is 10. I think 10 is definitely the minimum win total. Uh, I feel like if, you know, eight wins was that eight and nine, nine wins is nine and eight. Pittsburgh went nine and eight last year with Kenny Pickett. So I feel like he has to win at least 10 games. I say the bar for him to like, no matter what happens in the playoffs, I think the bar for him will probably to be 11 and six. And then on top of being 11 and six, uh, you know, just being consistent throughout the year with calls. Uh, now, if we go 11 and six and lose in the first round, do we get fired? I don't know. So, I don't know. It, it really depends on a lot. You know, it, it depends on how the season goes and how we lose and how we go about losing. Like, um, if we're in the playoffs and he has a terrible coaching game and, and the wild card round, then he's probably getting fired. So, it really depends on a lot of stuff. Uh, and it depends on what could be wrong going with this season and who's to blame for it. Uh, now, looking at the Browns roster as a whole, um, the only thing I can see that could be wrong is our defensive line. I feel like we need a little bit better of a defensive line in my part, in, in my opinion. Um, 
I've been beating the table and bringing in like Frank Clark and beating the table and bringing in like, you know, guys like Justin Houston, Leonard Floyd. I've been beating the table on that. That's my personal opinion. I feel like we do need a better defensive line. Um, I feel like, I feel like, excuse me, I feel like that we can get ran on still. Uh, I feel like we still gonna have a kind of a tough running defense. I mean, yeah, like a weak running defense, a good secondary, good offense. I feel like teams are gonna try to run all over us and try to keep our offense off the field. Um, so it really depends. Now, when I, I was gonna just drop a video on like, you know, what I think our record could be, but then I realized the schedule released today. There are some rumors that we're gonna end up playing the Bengals week one at Cleveland. We'd love to see that, you know what I'm saying? Get Joe Burrow a good old whooping. Um, but. It really depends, like I said, on how the season outlook is. Uh, I feel like teams are going to run on us good, though. I just got to go through and see who are the running backs we face. I know we face Brees Hall, J.K. Dobbins twice, Najee twice, Joe Mixon. Those are all kind of mid-level running backs. Um, we face Damian Pierce again. I know we face, uh, I'm pretty sure we face Austin Eckler. Uh, Javonta Williams. So we face like some mid tier. We don't face like a Derrick Henry or like a CMC or or like the Saquon of the world or like yeah. We I don't think we face no top five running backs this year. So that could bode well. Um, and that could get us through it. But like say in the playoffs, we got to go face like a, the Titans or something. I feel like we're gonna get ran all over. Um, so I feel like that is one of our concerns is run defense for sure. Um, I feel like we won't be a 30th ranked run defense, but we'll at least be like 20th ranked run defense, maybe. I definitely think that'd be one of the strong shoots. I mean, the weak suits of the team. Um, now, as far as running the football, you know, we always going to be a top five rusher team. I think Kevin can go out there. If you guys remember um, the preseason, and if you guys can remember the Texas game, we did a lot of RPOs. Um, and then we came out against the Bagels and didn't do no RPOs at all. So I feel like, you know, we can integrate. I feel like we can have a really good run defense. Not run defense, a run offense. Uh, with having guys like, you know, Njoku out there blocking, Coop blocking. And then we got a whole bunch of different tackles that's great at run, run schemes and run fits. So if we could get Chubb out there in space and, you know, get Watson with the RPOs, and then maybe Jerome Ford breaks out, we could have a really good run team. Um, but that's the one thing I really want to figure out is like, because if it's going to be Deshaun's offense, I wonder how much we're going to run the football. And then I wonder how much Deshaun's going to throw for. Like, I, could he get 5K yards this year? So we will see. That's one thing that's going to be real interesting to come out and see like week one, how we play football, because we're a totally different defensive scheme. And then we're a totally different offensive scheme. Like our the wide receivers we done added, um, losing Kareem Hunt, adding Jordan Akins. Like we got a whole bunch of different pass options. So and we have yet to see Kevin Stefanski run an offense where it's pass heavy. So I really wonder how that's gonna work. I wonder like you know how the offense will look. So there's gonna be a lot to come out and test. Uh, training camp is only a couple months away. Thank God, I've been missing football. What is it, man? I think training camp is July. And then, you know, week one, uh, like I said, it's rumored that we play the Bengals September 10th at 1 o'clock. But week one is only a couple months. What's September, y'all? So this is May, June, July, August, September. Four months. That shit is right around the corner. So make sure y'all lock in, man. It's a big year for us. Uh, one of the most scariest, most anxiety uh, Brown seasons ever. Um, Cause this is the biggest risk as a franchise we done took. We and it's just like all on the table right here, right now. We got to go for it. Uh, so we need Watson to be ready. We need Stefanski to be ready, and we need to be moving as a unit and as a team. Uh, we really got Super Bowl aspirations. Um, if you guys didn't realize, they did do some ranks on PFF. Had us the sixth best team in the AFC, um, and then the eighth best team in the in the league. So. I'm going to go out and drop a video on that. I was waiting for the schedule release news to drop, but um, I'm giving this to you guys now. Do you guys think Kevin Stefanski on the hot seat? Uh, my hot take will be Stefanski. My hot take for this year would be Stefanski keeps his job. 
we win 11 games. I think we gonna win 11 games. And I think somebody's gonna win an award for either comeback, excuse me, for either comeback player of the year or defensive player of the year. I think Miles could get that. But you guys like, comment, subscribe, lock in with your boy. Uh, double uploaded three days in a row now. Another day of me double uploading. I'm out. Peace.